Yeah, you haven't told me the legal basis upon which you're... Sir, at this point in time, I'm asking you... Yeah, this is the legislation, that's all I need to know. I don't have to explain that to you at the moment, sir. We have roadblocks roadblock set up in place for everyone's safety. I'm directing you to move up to the corner up there. We've been directed by officer right, in charge. So whereabouts do you want me to go? The staging area is up on that corner up there. See the, the police and cars? Mate, that's where all the run with cameras going up there. Everyone with cameras right. going up there, sir. We're not singling you out. There's, we there's will cameras be... here. Yeah. We've channel. been directed, sir, to move people away from this area. I'm asking you in a cordial, cordial manner, okay. can you please right. move? I'll, I'll Thank you. Wait. on the fire. There's an outer ring and then on the inner ring there's um, people protecting the fire. Police have cordoned off the area. Got large numbers of officials here. Um, got to put something on my tail. Is that you guys have got him? No, 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 uh, this is the police cordon around the, the park. Media staging area. Uh, excuse me, Constable. I was um, told to come to a media staging area. Yes, I'm a journalist with. I can't get access to what's happening. Yeah, well, Is this the is idea? what we've been ordered. Right. Yeah. So you need to stay outside, outside the out, outer cordon. Right. What is that? I just don't get it. This park is closed. Okay, and that is what about the roads? Talk those two. Yeah, yeah. You need to you need to move out. Okay. Behind the switches, yes. So what's he doing? He's moving out. He's being moved out. 
No, he's going towards where the demonstration is. Yeah, what I would suggest you speak with these officer over there. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I'm going where he's going. Uh, we've got a large police presence behind the tents uh, and a big cordon around here. There's a, a very big police presence there right now, standing behind and actually around the tents. Okay. Sorry. How you doing? Good day. I'll just get you just to stay on that side of the road. Yep. Okay, because obviously we don't know exactly what's going to happen today. Right. Uh, I'd hate for you to get caught up in anything. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Are you alright, safety? Yeah. See, there's um, people all along here, and that I'm just following that cameraman there. Okay. So. And that's all the road. Okay. okay. All right. Take the car across here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trying to get into Musgrave Park's pretty hard. Hello, how are you going? No, they, they've got, they've even told us to stay on the other side of the road, so they've blocked off Cordelia, um, all the streets are leading to the park, and they give, they give you directions as you, um, you know, as far away as, as uh, West End. So they, they you know, they've, they've got a perimeter a long, long way back. That's, that's why no one's getting through. There's a lot of people trying to come but you know the level of intimidation is pretty high. Uh, there's a lot of police here. Uh, um, so I'm, I'm standing just opposite um, where the worldwide design is and plasterboard accessories. So whereabouts are you in relation to that? Are you near the fire? Yep, I saw um, there was the arrest there. Um, uh, y yeah, um, and the, the first arrest I saw was um, one of the people who was going to defend the, the fire, a uh, Shane, and Jason, sorry. Okay, yeah, oh, there you are, that's good. Hey, I'd like to be able to give you your sound recorder. Do you think we could manage that? Not too hard. It, it, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Still it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, that, that extra perimeter fence has um, actually assisted them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. 
but in a way it's kept them out as well. Um, but have you seen Coco in there? Is he? Yeah. Okay. He he just tell him he he was on um, Radio National before, given a very good explanation of what's happening. And and there's a lot of people ringing into 612 with support. There's some people against. One guy on the Gold Coast was total racist, and he rang in and said, "You've got to get rid of him because the white people need no crime." <laughs> so <laughs> this guy from the Gold Coast rang in. He said. You've got to clear those Aborigines out of Musgrave Park because there's too much crime. <laughs> so, but a lot. Yeah, that's right. Under their heritage legislation, they shouldn't be here. Um, but, you know, since when did legislation matter? Uh, but there are a lot, there's a lot of um, support, though. Uh, you know, people, people ringing in from... Um, People, people ringing in from um, places like in Kenmore. Someone, Margie, rang in they, from from uh, one of the outer suburbs and says, "You know, we're right behind these people." This, uh, hey, this dancing is deadly. Anyway, so okay, but uh, I, I'd like to keep in contact with you on and off by ringing in. I'm recording everything. See ya. See ya. Okay. Stands out a bit, doesn't he? It does, yeah. I'm worried he might lose his job. Yeah. He might not. Yeah. He's got this injury, so he wants him to stay on. Yeah. Depends. Depends who notices. Hi, sorry. Would you like to talk much with me? I know there's no heaps about it. Like. Maybe Ian. Um, hi. Ian. Yeah. Um, I'm just um, at the Sovereign Embassy in Musgrave Park and I was just wondering if you um, could quickly talk about it, get some support. Yeah. Okay, so like, could you just like let us like talk about it a bit? Like, or... <laughs> Speak up a little. Okay. Yes. So you're in the studio. My, my name's Ian Kerr, um, and uh, you, you've got it patched in on the on the board there. Okay. So. Uh, If you can just fade out that uh, that music and then just bring me on in, it, we're, we're in your own time. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Just having a bit of trouble actually getting it through on the panel. Uh, don't, hello. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, but it's not too bad. Um, I'd like to talk about what's happening here. Um, hello? 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 Hello?
back on the music. It is difficult in that studio to get the actual phone panelled in. Yeah. Have, have you been in there? That, I have yeah. been in there. I've never done that before though. Yeah. yeah. Just the person there is not totally okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Ian, by the way. I'm Alex. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> How's your credit on this fan, Alex? Oh, it's fine. It's good? Yeah, yeah it's actually the batteries are good. I'm going to close the road, so Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yes? And I'll, I'll just speak in 10 seconds, say what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Gonna say go this time. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm outside um, the outer perimeter fence. Hello. Battery low. I might, I might try and ring in on my phone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We'll go through all that again. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, see if I can find my phone amongst all the other stuff. I hope you hold it. Yes, right. please. If, if you could actually just keep filming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it filming now? Yep. Okay. Just that way. Break up. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can zoom in just <laughs> yeah. using that. that yeah. That's in there. Mm -hmm. okay. You get a little bit lower. Yep. Um, and the wide shot's good, but it's. Yep, zoom in. Yeah, okay. Just... Can you do it for a minute? I'll just get my glasses. <laughs> okay, I'll just get into the studio. Um, oh, um, I think it's I'll just. Three, two, yeah. five, oh. two. Yeah. Um, uh, one, triple, five, yeah. and I think I yeah. go two, don't I? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah. I think we were talking Bush, Bush and Fiona. I didn't catch her name okay. actually. Is that right? Is that the number? Yeah. Can't get through. I'm going to try using my. Uh, it's nothing, no problem with the train. It's the problem with the right there. Yeah, I could do that. If I can get through to that. So, were you inside earlier? Oh no, so, I'm not going to get in. Oh no, right. yeah. yeah. that's yeah. the lead. Yeah. 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 They're jumpers. Yeah. I don't know what type of police they are. Maybe they're the well, media they're people. Yeah. So those ones at the back are police, so we Two. could just be yeah. yeah. That's what, what the they hell? Bit, 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 something. Could, Alex, if you could get this, yeah. just the movements that they're making. Try to follow the action a bit. Yeah. Look at this ibis. <laughs> oh, birds still on the streets. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sorry we got uh, knocked out there, but we'll try again, eh? Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it was just a low battery on that phone. I've got a good battery on this phone. Danger so to yourself. We can go again, or I can. Give, I'd just like to give you my. I'd like to give you my number as well, yeah, so that you can ring me during the course of the, the day. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll just go ahead with what. We'll just go ahead with what we were going to do before then. I, I didn't catch your name. Was it? Yeah. Grace. Okay. Good on you, Grace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Just had trouble getting through there before that. Too.
Yes. That'd be great. Thank you, guys. Yes, I can. Okay. What kind of school stuff? Okay. No. Uh, my name is Ian Kerr. Yeah, I'm going at my Musgrave Park in South Brisbane. And, South South and oh, um, I'd just like to describe yeah. first what's oh, happening here. Really? And then I'd like to describe what's going to happen so uh, later on in the day. Um, <laughs> I, I encourage listeners to yeah, actually follow what's going on. I didn't really care if I got arrested. There is and a, like, a large assembly. I have a presentation in there for two hours. I was like, oh, I was just like, oh, you know, I don't really care if I get arrested. And I was like, I have a presentation. Presentation in two hours. <laughs> and um, at the moment, people both inside the the enclosure of uh, that has been put around Musgrave Park by police and by the authorities inside the enclosure is we're witnessing people um, uh, defying a law that's a, a white collar law that says that. The park is closed and people are to be removed from the park. The people are, are practicing a spiritual business around the sacred fire. And that sacred fire has come from the Aboriginal Ten Embassy in Canberra, which has been lit now for 40 years. Hello. Hello. Oh, <laughs> 
sorry. Oh, I'm gonna clap it up. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my glasses on. Oh, yeah. I'm going to leave my glasses on. Let's do it again. Who's that? Sorry. Oh, he just said that. He just woke up and that was a worse than coming. All oh, right. I said, hey, I'm not sure. We've got you. And we've got work at like nine minutes. So we can come and keep going at the end of the night. Yeah. So many things. Great. Yeah. Later on um, today, um, we're going to march to um, the state parliament, which is opening today. The, yesterday they had the, the swearing-in ceremonies, but today there's going to be the parliament is actually going to be open. And what we're going to do is we're going to put an eviction notice on the front gate of Parliament House <laughs> to, to show that the Aboriginal law still strong in this country and that people like um, the, um, the, the Premier of Queensland who yesterday abused the Aboriginal people down here in Musgrave Park by saying that they were just a mere squatter's camp. Yeah. These are people who have had 60,000 years yeah, of said that attachment to this land here. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, it's like squatters, eh? Mm. Um, living either around or 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 Mm -hmm. On one other occasion when we've had this level of force used against Aboriginal people and that was in 1982 during the Commonwealth Games. Wow. And even then, even under the Bielke Peterson government, people stayed here for two years. I was there with them and now the similar thing is they eventually after two weeks they removed people but now um, uh, the people are standing firm and they, they haven't been able to remove them yet. But we'll go to Parliament House. Um, it, we can't give you a time because it depends upon a lot of other factors, but it'll be sometime today we're going to go down to Parliament House to the opening of the Parliament and we're going to put an eviction notice on the Parliament because if there's anything that is truer, it's the fact that it's the settlers with their Parliament that are, that are, that are acting unlawfully and amorally. They're, they're acting against all traditional custom. We should be respecting the Indigenous people of this country. Because it is Aboriginal land. You heard before people start chanting out, always was, always will be Aboriginal land. And you can hear the sounds of sovereignty. The people here are actually arguing for sovereignty because on the basis of an act in 1873, Queen Victoria said that no Australian government, no Australian parliament can actually make laws about a sovereign people, the Indigenous people of of, of um, Queensland, of other states of Australia. And, and that's, that's the important thing here. 
that, that people are exercising their sovereign rights as, as Indigenous people to, to participate at cultural practice, to, to be at one with the land. And we, as non-Indigenous people, should support that right. And it's a disgrace that we've got a parliament that is going forward and actually evicting yeah, people from time. their own yeah. land. I'll take land that they've held for over 60,000 years. The Yagara people are the owners of this park. The traditional owners said on Saturday, in reply to all the work uh, indication that he wanted them to leave, they said, yes, well, you've offered us a compromise. You said that we can go up to Yagara Hall and we'll do that. But only if you'll give us a deed of grant and trust, returning the land to the Aboriginal traditional owners. And those traditional owners were solid here with the people that actually have come out in support of the Yagra people's claim to a much better place. And there's been 30 years put down. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's probably a good idea. Are opposed to Aboriginal people having their practice of customs. It's also a little bit of a Great people of West End, the ordinary people, have been very good um, with with yeah. here. Well, and, and they've been the here, they've been negotiating, and they want to support it. And we know that, that, that that's their point of view. But importantly, you know, at least if they don't um, come down, at least they know about it. Whenever there's something like yeah. um, this is happening, the authorities, in this case Alderman Quirk, they try to use the Greek community mm -hmm. that's been here for over 40 years, they try to use them against the Aboriginal people. Yeah, this is wrong. Not They're not against it. And and, and yeah. what's more, when when um, Campbell Newman and Alderman Quirk shamelessly used the Greek people, I was at a meeting last night at community. Um, Campbell Newman and Alderman Quirk shamelessly used the Greek people. I was at a meeting last night, a community meeting here inside this um, police, inside this camp, and they spoke to uh, Chris, who is from the Greek up here, and Chris said, I will meet with Aboriginal elders and we will talk, we'll, and we've been told, he said that we've actually been told that we've got to butt out of this because the government says, you can have your Paniere Festival, but you're only just hiring the land. Now, they're telling Aboriginal people that they can't have their land, and they've welcomed and been in harmony with the Greek community for a long, long time. And there's the Paniere is... I first went to a Paniere here in 1972, and I've never seen um, such a shameless political intervention by the authorities, by the police, and by the Premier of the state. And this should, this should stop. Um, people of, of Queensland, I know, have elected this, this guy to replace a government that sold public assets. These are the assets here. These are not assets. This, this, is, this is the land from which we get our identity. Yeah. And, and, and the Aboriginal people Smile. have shared it with us. And they, they shared all the culture with us. We, and we should be at one with those people. Okay, alright. Is that being recorded? <laughs> it's not recorded. Okay. Okay. Um, alright, so just tell people during the day that we want them to come to us by the last first. We're going to go to Parliament and we're going to protest you. <laughs> That's right. That's right, yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you guys. Yeah.
Kevin, Kevin Costello, but it's still safe. And the 50 police are wasting their own money because they're not doing anything.
and uh, um, sovereignty. They define sovereignty as the law of the land and the power of music, the legitimate power of the government. We had our law and that was the law of the land, our law is the law of the land, the conquest, the war, the peace, the Under the legislation in Queensland, uh, in, in, sorry, in the Commonwealth, they have the legal right to be here and to protect their right to be here and to protect their land. They are surrounded by an unlawful action by Queensland police officers who have not only occupied the land, um, the um, the uh, City Council has ringed it with a criminal offence, has excluded us from it, and these Queensland police officers, they are acting unlawfully. They should not be doing this, and um, they should be called away from it. Um, by, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a whole lot of, of uh, processes that should be gone through to make sure that this um, sovereign embassy ca goes on. Okay. We moved our mess, mate. You went up to give it to me the other way. I'm getting tired. <laughs> I don't give him his camera back. Oh. He was talking all that time during an interview and then he ran off. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I am getting tired. Are you going to take over again? Thank <laughs> <laughs> Hands are cold. Actually, <laughs> these are some plain clothes. Plain clothes, like yeah. <laughs> for police. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they've got jeans. Yeah. I wonder if that's what a civilian is. If you dress like a civilian, make sure you wear jeans, jeans. and nice shoes. <laughs> you're just a fashion parade. Okay. Oh no, that's a civilian. Just keep costume. filming, <laughs> and, and I'll see you later. Okay. Eh? <laughs> like, like when? <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> well, is he actually young? I'm sure. Just, I'm sure my teacher will understand. <laughs> I'm sure my teacher will understand. Going. No, they're like, when? <laughs> like, I can pass on to someone else. Okay. I'll see you later. Like, he doesn't have my number. You are. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right, I just have to tell Rod. Okay. Sorry. Did you just end up like keep filming while you just film all the stuff on your way to yeah. school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And my presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, <Boring. laughs> Sorry. <yeah. laughs> hey, my presentation is very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to go and try and find my tripod. Okay, tripod. Okay, no.
brother. Hi, brother. Yeah, I got the arm. Hood on. The hood on the hood. 